Hi folks, welcome to Testing Hand. Today we will see what is Agile. Agile is a methodology. Okay? Agile is a process by which a team can manage the project by breaking it up into several stages and involving constant collaboration with stakeholders and continuous improvement and iteration at every stage. The Agile methodology begins with client describing how the end product will be used and what problem it will solve. This clarifies the customer's expectation to the project team. Once the work begins, team cycle through a process of planning, executing and evaluating which might just change the final deliverable to fit into the customer needs better. Continuous collaboration is the key both among team members and with the project stakeholders to make fully informed decisions. We have several stages that we can see on the screen which is planning, designing, develop, test, deploy and review. So these are the various stages and projects will undergo with agile methodology. The very first thing is once the requirement is collected it will be created in the backlog. Say the requirement will be divided into several different requirements. I mean each of the requirement will be taken and then that will be uh, split into two to three. Might be more, it might be more as well. So that will be put in a backlog. So once the, all the requirements are in backlog, what will happen? They will take couple of uh, stories for that particular sprint and then the iteration starts it will undergo planning okay it will undergo planning as well as requirement will be analyzed as well as the uh, development will be done in this phase all these will happen all these things will happen so in this particular iteration planning will happen design will happen de deployment will happen development will happen uh, testing will happen all this happens in this cycle in between daily calls will be set up okay in that daily review will be happening okay based on the work completely depends and once after that iteration completes and the, uh, we have some working software ready that will be released and then that deliverable will be sent to production and once it is in production, we will get the feedback from the customers based on that. Okay, so what are the, all the stages that a project will go through is plan, collaborate and deliver. We will see the an example for it. So we have a requirement ready now. So we will split the requirement into user stories. User story 1, user story 2, user stories 3. Let's see, this is how the flow is. So once you have a requirement and then the you have split that requirement into number of user stories, what you will do? You will plan for that particular sprint. You will consider for this sprint, we will be considering these and all the user stories. Okay. So once the user stories are done, so what we will do? We will start to plan. We will plan that particular sprint and then a uh, requirement will be analyzed. And then it will go through the development stage where the actual product will be developed and then the testing happens. Finally, the deployment happens. So this is how the process happens okay, in Agile methodology. And we have several Agile manifesto. So individuals and interaction over process and tools. Working software over comprehensive documentation. Customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following the plan. So these are the agile manifestos. We will see one by one. So what is individuals and interaction over process and tools? So having the right group of individual on your software team is vital to success. The best possible tools in wrong hands are worthless. Perhaps even more important is how these individuals communicate with each other. These interaction between the team members are what helps the, helps the team to collaborate and solve the problems that has been arisen. Okay, so we have working software over comprehensive documentation. 
Okay, the Agile Manifesto places a working software to the customer, which is one of the highest priority. So then a, compre a comprehensive documentation. Okay, so we have customer collaboration over contract negotiation. So according to Agile Manifesto, the focus should be on continuous development. You need to build a feedback loop with customers so that you can constantly ensure that product works uh, for them. Okay. So rather than customer collaboration, contract negotiation doesn't matter. It, it is a second priority. The first priority will be given to the customer collaboration. The customer should get uh, satisfied rather than uh, something written in the contract, right? And then the last one is responding to change over following a plan. Okay, so we don't we need to have some changes. Might be uh, our software must be able to. So Agile Manifesto suggests that software team should have ability to pivot that and change direction whenever they need to with the flexible roadmap and that reflects that a dynamic roadmap can change from quarter to quarter sometimes even month to month and agile teams are able to keep up with those changes okay so that is what the agile manifesto is principles of agile methodology so we have 12 principles of agile methodology the very first is customer satisfaction by early and continuous delivery of the valuable software customers are the happier when they receive working software at regular intervals rather than waiting extended period of time between the releases okay so welcome changing requirements even in late development the ability to avoid delays when requirement or feature releases request changes. Okay. Next is deliver working software frequently. Scrum accommodates this principle since the team operates in software sprint or iteration that ensure regular delivery of the working software. And the fourth principle is close daily cooperation between business people and developers. So wherein for the better decision are made when the business and technical team are aligned closely. Okay. And the fifth principle is projects are built around motivated individuals who are trusted. Motivated teams are more likely to deliver their best work than happy unhappy teams, right? And the sixth a uh, principle is face to face conversation is best form of communication so communication is more successful when development teams are co located with i mean if developers and testers are having a face to face conversation with the team that would definitely help the process to be better and next principle is working software is primary measure of progress Delivering functional software to the customer is the ultimate factor that measures the progress. Sustainable development able to maintain constant pace. Teams establish a repeatable and maintainable speed at which they can deliver working software and they repeat it with each releases. And the next thing is continuous attention to technical excellence and good design. Okay, so the right skills and good design ensure that team can maintain the pace, constantly improve the product and sustain the changes. Okay, simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of more work not done is essential. So, develop is just not enough to get the job done for right now, right? That's why. And also, Best architecture requirements and designs emerge for self-organizing teams. Skilled and motivated team members who have decision-making power take ownership, communicate regularly with other team members and share ideas that deliver quality products. And the last principle is regularly the team reflects on how to become more effective than adjust accordingly. Okay, self-improvement, process improvement 
advancing skills and techniques help the team members to work more efficiently so these are the principles of agile methodology so if you have any questions please do comment out in the comment section and please like the video share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye